Aquarian friends and welcome to your horoscope for October of 2020 where Aquarius this month it's so interesting because I feel like you actually have like a guardian angel of a type in terms of your career like someone who is maybe um, they're in a position of authority or maybe they are foreign they don't even live where you are something like that they just like you and so they help you in your career area which who couldn't use that sometimes? You know what I'm saying? I also think too, I'm going to throw this out there for you. If you are a writer, a blogger, a vlogger, a content creator, something like that, um, Mars is in Aries. So it's lighting up this third house area for you. But because it's retrograde, it's almost like create all of this really good juicy content or get your sales or your projects ready or something like that and then you'll want to wait past this full moon to release your content and then it has a better um a better trajectory in a way so anyways i will get to all of that in just a minute we've got three moons happening this month venus changes signs twice pluto comes out of retrograde so it is a good movable usable month but there's something about your charm this month aquarius that i think is actually very good and very useful um, to a attracting some opportunities to you, okay? All right, this month as well, we've got the Eat and Greets continuing to soldier on. Basil Farrington, Shane M. Nygaard, Jessica Lignato, Shakira Tabor, Melissa LaFara. We'll have the crew over here so you can catch those all month long. And now, if you would like to watch the Eat and Greets ad free, you can come become a patron and join me on Patreon for $5 a month. You get all of the eat and greets ad free and as patreon continues to grow there will be more content there ad free and available for you as well so all of that will be in the description box down below if you'd like to come join now i will tell you this as well some people have said well i have youtube red or have youtube premium so that i can avoid the ads and what i will just tell you is that that is beautiful and i support you but your content creators do not see a very big portion of that and I have a full explanation for that going as well. You can check it out in the community tab of this page. And that's why you see people jumping over to Patreon, Venmo, things like that, okay? As well, this month on the 3rd and the 4th, I'll be field tripping with Astrology University. We will have the Summit of Astrology and World Events. It is free. Register, come over, join, listen to the live talk, see the panel that I will be on. You know, come enjoy the astrology learning. Now, if you'd like the recording of the talks afterward, you can purchase the all access um, pass, but it is free to join. As well, on the 17th, I will be heading over to Achuta Bhava space for the Nightlife Speaker Series, where I will be talking about astrology and social media. It too is free. We just need you to get registered for the link, okay? All right, all of that's in the description box down below, and I hope to see you in, you know, just all of it, okay? <laughs> All right, Aquarius, as we jump into this month, we've got a full moon happening in the energy of Aries. So at nine degree, lighting up your third house. The full moon says that something needs to be ended, acknowledged, or adjusted. So it creates a shift here. It lets you see things that you couldn't see in this area before. So your communication, maybe even things with um, siblings. Oh, this is interesting. Okay, I don't know who you are, but um, you are maybe connected it's something connecting your family but something is happening with your sibling almost like i feel like something happens with a parent and maybe a sibling has to take on more responsibility and you're supporting them if that's you please let me know in the comment section down below but either way this full moon the ruler of this full moon mars is retrograde as well here in your third house so that's why i say with mars retrograde you don't have this like forward power instead at this moon what you're being offered is the opportunity to really see things from a bird's eye super well lit view and get a new strategy around it right something assertive write something sell something speak something study something with a sense of assertion not aggression aggression will burn your strategy to the ground you want some solid assertion so i think that this full moon gives you an opportunity to really see this area for what it needs to be if you do happen to have things like job interviews or things like that going on as well and remember that assertive not aggressive okay on the second we see venus moving into the energy of virgo which lights up your eighth house space of joint resources, joint resources, sex, fear, anything that deeply connects you to another source where if that source moves, 
you're going to have a deep intimate reaction to that and this includes our healing right so if there's any kind of therapy or anything like that going on now Venus is a magnetizing energy so she's trying to bring opportunity to this area of your life for you and Virgo wants to do it very practically once the details says okay if we're gonna be successful if we're gonna you know um, relook at our our joint budget or something like that or if we're gonna collaborate with people what's the priority how do we do this what are the details of how we make this area work so just know that Venus is magnetizing opportunities here maybe even just support from your spouse or your partner um, but Virgo is getting you into the details of how to really make this thing work on the 12th on the 12th and stormy grace on the 4th we see Pluto coming direct in your 12th house so now we've got the whole Capricorn Council out of retrograde Jupiter Saturn Pluto all direct motion happening here in this 12th house space now it has been a few years Aquarius you have been cleaning the skeletons out of the closet in a very spiritual way I think you've been becoming more mature you've been firming up you've had to fall back and kind of trust that the universe has your back more than a handful of times and I also think it's been a good couple of years for you of really being of service to other people or, or learning to be of service, like put the needs of others before yourself without the self-sacrificing, right? We don't give the 12th house a lot of credit for that, but that is a way to actually take you from the mire of what's hidden in that 12th house and rise to the top of it. Because if you think about it, when you look at a chart, the sun rises and it's rising through that 12th house. So you've literally, I think, been doing some things that have allowed your rise instead of a fall. But certainly if you've had patterns or behaviors or things like that um, that have not been serving you, Pluto has been burning those off. And now as he's direct, your desires, your fears, your acknowledgement of the patterns are right at the surface so that you can work on them, transform them as you walk forward. On the 13th, we see Mercury moving into retrograde in the energy of Scorpio at 12 degrees. So this is, again, going to be at the top of the chart. So you are relooking, reconnecting, revising, re-editing things in your career. It's almost like I maybe need to realign in some way, shape, or form. Have I not been going for a promotion? Have I not been moving towards this particular job because I have some fear? But this is in the retrograde as well. I'm telling you with the Scorpio energy, I feel like this is a powerful person or a person in a position of prominence who's like oh I just like you so I would love for you to work with me or I would love to help you do something you know it's all really kind of an interesting energy where I would just ask you are you likable are you amenable this month and that doesn't mean selling yourself out or anything like that it means you know when you're out and about and you're doing things are you just kind of a joy to be around? You're lighting up the room because whatever that is about, it seems to be to your favor this time. On the 16th, we've got a new moon happening at 24 degrees of Libra. So this is going to put some emphasis in the ninth house space. Publishing, marketing, broadcasting, training, faith, any of these things. The new moon, you're planting the seeds of intention, which in the energy of Libra, again, I'm like, your expansion may come from a significant relationship, Libra. Your training, you know, maybe you didn't even expect to, to move in this particular direction of your life and somebody comes around and they're like, oh, hey, would you like to experience da 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 or would you help me with whatever? And this leads to your next set, next set of expansion. I do think that this new moon in Libra, um, because it's ninth house, this could lead to some travel maybe you're traveling to connect with relations in your life or something like that but it's a lovely new moon and we get to see how it plays out for you four weeks down the road okay on the 22nd the sun comes into the energy of Scorpio again bringing light heat life and vitality to this career to this 10th house area um, be social if you can be purposeful um, be as driven as you need to be to still be working within the team um, in your career area. And I feel like the sun is really doing a lot of digging and a lot of helping you here in this particular area. Now on the 24th, Venus is going to trine Saturn. And I wanted to give you this day because I feel like it's a great day to make commitments, right? To make a commitment and it has a long sticking, long lasting, solid effect in your life. So commit to something pretty serious. You've got Venus up here in Virgo in the eighth house. You've got Saturn over here. Um, in Capricorn so in the 12th house space so as these two houses are talking to each other what are you ready to commit to but the 24th is your day okay
On the 27th, we see that Mercury, who's been retrograde in Scorpio, sliding back and taking that retrograde into the energy of Libra. So again, now I'm like, okay, now, are you getting the training? Are you doing the certification? Are you getting ready to publish that book out there, but you have to review it, reconnect, re-edit? Do you have the book already dang written and you don't have a publisher yet? Have you been making the content for your YouTube channel, for courses, for, for language courses, something like that? Have you been doing something like that and this retrograde is taking you back into it for a time? And as the retrograde ends in November, November 13th, you'll be able to move that thing forward. As we end the month, oh, on the 27th, we also have Venus moving into the energy of Libra. So this is another helper for you there. As we end the month on the 31st, we've got Taurus having a full moon energy right there, conjunct Uranus, right? So this is like, it's like really coming together. Now this Tauran energy lights up your fourth house space. So this could be a surprise truly that comes at the end of the month. And I can't help but think, especially with Venus in Libra at this time, something with a family member is, is surprising. Something surprising happens with them. And that kind of puts you in the place where you make the ending, the acknowledgement or the adjustment to this fourth house area. You know, could it be something specifically in your housing that happens and it creates a really unexpected surprise and that can be good or that can be challenging. You know, really, I don't even know if there's good or bad. It's just going to kick your path around. But either way, it's going to do it under a lot of light. So I think you're able to actually see the next best move as this event happens. So from the day before the full moon all the way until we get to the new moon, I would be interested to see what this surprise shake up Uranian energy brings to your table and to your foundations and your relationships for sure, okay? All right, my Aquarian friends, I do think it's going to be a good month. Please keep me posted. Remember, assertive, not aggressive seems to be the ticket to moving you forward this month. Like this video, comment, share, subscribe. I love you a ton and I'll see you next month. Bye.